hello everyone thank you once again for clicking on this video i hope you all are doing perfectly fine today i am making Ghanaian egg plants or garden egg stew this is one of my favorite stew and trust me you are definitely going to love this recipe so without wasting my time let's get started To begin with this egg sauce or egg stew recipe, I'll start by cooking my egg plants or garden eggs. So I've washed and cut my garden eggs very well. I'm also going to go in with a little bit of water to cook this. Garden eggs doesn't take a lot of time to cook. Approximately 5 to 10 minutes, it should be ready. So moving forward to my heated pan, I'll go in with my cooking oil, which is my palm oil. I'll let it heat up very well and I'll go in with my fermented fish or my cured fish, which is also going to release good flavors to the cooking oil and also give the stew extra, extra taste. Trust me on this one. <laughs> so I'll allow it to melt beautifully in the cooking oil before I'll go in with the next ingredient, which is the chopped onions. I'll allow it to saute for about one to two minutes and I'll go in with the next ingredient. And so the next ingredient that I'll be adding to it is my blended garlic and ginger paste. You can also use the powdered one if you want, but trust me, the fresh one works better because it's going to add good flavors to the stew very well. So moving forward, I'm also going to go in with my tomato paste. It is frozen, so I'll allow it to melt beautifully. But before that, I'll go in with my powdered pepper. You can as well use fresh pepper if you want, okay? So now let's cover it for about 5 to 10 minutes until the tomato paste melts beautifully just the way you've seen it on your screens right now. At this point, I'll just give it a gentle stir, cover it again, and allow it to cook again for about five minutes. And after five more minutes, the stew is looking all good, and the tomato paste has also cooked down very well. So next, I'll go in with my agushi, my akatsua, or my agushi anywhere you want to call it feel free to call it <laughs> all right so after adding in the agushi you can allow it to cook before you go in with any other protein but you can as well add it since you don't want to waste time okay i went in with some cocoa and also some mackerel and tomato sauce I will not stir it, I will just cover and allow it to do its own thing. So whilst that is going on, we are back to check on our garden eggs and it's very very soft now. So I'll just remove it from fire and set it aside. Alright, so as usual, I am back to check on the stew again and it's doing all good. But our gushi is still not ready, so I'll just give it a gentle stir, cover it again and allow it to cook on low medium heat. For extra five to ten minutes while that is going on please do well to click on that button over there to subscribe to my channel hit that bell also so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be among the first person to be notified thank you so much for doing that all right so after cooking the agushi for extra 10 minutes i'll go in with some eggs it is totally optional okay but when you add in the eggs as well it is definitely a plus for you okay so after extra five minutes of cooking the eggs it's also ready because we're going to cook it again so i'll just give it a gentle stir and add in any seasoning of choice and for the seasoning i'll go in with some onga shrimp tablets and also sankofa natural herbs spices you can as well use any seasoning of your choice okay i will give it a gentle stir and i will allow it to cook for a while because i really want the seasoning to also cook down very well so now let's cover it and allow it to do its own thing all right so whilst that is going on 
we are going to go ahead and grind our garden eggs you can also use blender if you don't want to stress yourself potato masher or anything that can help you mash your garden eggs very well feel free to use it okay i don't really want mine very smooth so i'll just use my wooden masher to just tap on the garden eggs until it's reached the consistency that i want just like this okay so whilst everything is done i'll just go ahead and add everything to my stew that is still on fire and afterwards i'll just stir everything beautifully at this point you just have to taste for salt to see if the salt is okay if it's not okay you just have to add in a little bit of salt to your taste okay stir everything beautifully and allow it to cook on low medium heat until oil settles on top very well but you know me i really love some crunchiness anytime i'm preparing stew so i'll go in with my chopped onions if you don't want it as well you can just omit it totally okay cover it and allow it to do its own thing until it is nice and ready just like this this egg sauce looks so delicious and i hope you're going to try farm let me know in the comment section what you think about this egg sauce recipe i enjoyed mine alongside with some plantain you can also enjoy yours with rice yam any other thing that you can enjoy yours with it feel free to enjoy yourself okay thank you once again for watching this video to this point and if you enjoy it to this point that means you are always a proud foodie member thank you for watching